it comes from a really interesting time period, around 66 to 67 million years ago. This is just before the asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs. And we have a pretty good picture of the dinosaurs from North America for this time period. For example, Triceratops and T-Rex are part of the, this fauna, uh, this sort of twilight fauna, the last dinosaurs on Earth. But we don't have a good picture of what's going on in the rest of the world. And we know almost nothing about the African dinosaurs from this time period. So it's the first uh, named dinosaur from the end of the Cretaceous period in Africa, in fact. Yeah, the teeth hinted at a dinosaur like this, and the jawbone really kind of clenched it that this was one of these abelosaurs. They're a very specialized group of dinosaurs. They're similar to a T-Rex. They're, they're two-legged predators, but they're different. They have a much shorter, blunter snout. The arms are actually shorter than those of a T-Rex. And whereas T-Rex is very bird-like and would have been feathered, these things were scaly. And T-Rex wasn't particularly intelligent, but this thing was like, had a smaller brain than even a T-Rex did. So it's a, in many ways a much more primitive dinosaur. There we go, okay.